Well, good morning. And welcome to a miserable, drizzly day in Cambridge. Now, today, I want to talk about free electricity. Not cheap rate, not smart tariffs, but free electricity. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of free electricity that comes from solar or from any other form of energy that you might have stored in batteries. I'm talking about free power from your electricity company. Okay, it's a little warmer in here, so uh, let's jump in and talk a little bit about free electricity, where it comes from, how can you get access to it, and why are the energy providers giving away electricity for free? Now, before we start, I should say that this is based on my experience with Octopus Energy. Other providers may have completely different schemes. So everything I'm going to talk about today is based upon Octopus Energy. If you're with another provider, please check out their websites to see what it is that they offer and what you can get from them. So let's start with how this works. Now, Octopus actually run a number of different schemes. Um, this particular one that I'm going to talk about today is called Octopus Power Ups. Now, this runs uh, in different parts of the country at different times, so not everybody gets free energy at the same time. Um, but I'm just going to talk about my experiences here in the east of England. So every so often, no regular pattern, we receive an email, um, usually with about 12 to 24 hours notice, saying that um, Octopus are going to make the energy available for free, and then they give us a time period. Now, there are a number of different schemes here. There are versions where they will give you free energy above what you use normally, or there are the versions that we get in the east of England called power-ups, where you just get free energy for that whole time, no matter what you use. Um, there are no uh, limits on it. You can use as much power as you like, and the way it works is it will get credit to, to your bill at the normal rate, and then later on, usually within one to two weeks, you will see a deduction from your bill once they've worked out exactly what you've used. Then once it's all finished, you get an email like this. Now, quite often you'll find that uh, during days when it's really windy, we get multiple of these power-ups, maybe two or three a week, and then we might not get any for a month. But in this case, um, they will sum them all up together. So you can see here, um, I received an email saying that I received 30 pounds and five pence of uh, a credit to my account for the electricity that I use. As I said, they, they just bill it as normal and then they do all the maths later to tell you what you're gonna get back. And then it just gets credited to your account. So there may be times when you overlap a billing period where you might actually pay for the power you use, but a few days later you get the money back. So it, it all works out in the end. It's important here to differentiate between free electricity and the Agile tariff. Agile is a tariff where the price of your energy changes every 30 minutes. And that particular tariff, um, for those that have been on it during November, has seen some very high energy prices. Um, but generally it tracks quite low, you know, sort of 14, 15 pence a kilowatt averaged over a year. Um, but there are times on the Agile tariff where your price will go negative. So you'll actually be paying less. You'll get more than free um, if you're on Agile. But the free energy really applies to people on tariffs like Intelligent Octopus Go or Economy 7 or a standard tracker. Anyone can get access to these free energy periods if they're available in your region. Um, Agile, as you can see here, this sort of shows the, the average pricing here. And when I've been on Agile, and generally I run on Agile from about March to October every year, um, there are some periods where the energy price goes negative. Again, generally when there's a lot of wind, we will see those prices start to drop down. Um, great time to get negatively priced energy, to get paid for using energy. So why do energy companies like Octopus give away free electricity? What's in it for them? Yeah, because they're not just doing it out of the goodness of their heart. So if you take a look at the email that we, they send out, down at the bottom there, it says, we'll give you free electricity because we don't want it to go to waste. Now, why would electricity be going to waste? Well, 
if you actually look at the way our power plants and our, our structure of our energy grid is, is set up, we have a mix of different types of power plants. Um, in fact, this chart's already out of date because we don't actually have any coal plants anymore, but we have some renewables, we have some gas, some oil, and some nuclear in that mix as well. And we also import power from other countries. We import power when it's cheap from, from Norway, when they have uh, abundant hydroelectric power. But power plants aren't just like a wall switch. You can't just flick them off and flick them on. So, oh, we don't need the power from it right now, turn it off, uh, because they have a start up and a shut down time. And depending on the type of plant, this could be anything from a minute to turn on a wind turbine, all the way up to many days to turn on a nuclear power plant. Now, to turn these plants off requires human intervention. It requires people and processes and time, and all of that just adds cost to the process, especially if you're doing it maybe multiple times in one day. Now, from the energy provider's point of view, it is much cheaper just to leave those plants generating we don't want to have to shut them down when there's no demand for the energy and then turn them back on five minutes later because all of a sudden there's a big demand for energy in the grid. So the obvious question is, why don't they store it? Just like some of us have batteries in our house that allow us to store energy when we're, we're not using it and then use it later on, why don't we do that at grid scale? Well, there are a number of grid scale batteries, but they're just too small. Even plants such as the one in the photo there, that's a 100 megawatt battery storage plant. 100 megawatts maybe is a few minutes of power for a small town. So these really aren't economical at the kind of scale that we're talking about here. We really need gigawatt scale storage. Now there is a solution to that. Now for anyone that's been to Wales, you may have seen signs of something called Electric Mountain. This is the Denorwig power station. Um, it's a pumped hydro power station. It costs about 450 million pounds to build, and it's effectively a battery. Now, the way pumped hydro works is really quite clever. It's basically two lakes, one at the top of a mountain and one at the bottom of a mountain, connected via a tunnel with a turbine in the middle. And when we need power, we open the intake, we let the uh, gravity, bring the water down the tube, through the turbine, into the lake at the bottom. And that generates electricity. The Norwig Power Station can generate about 1,700 megawatts of power in almost an instant, in one or two minutes from flicking the switch and the water hitting the turbines. Now, once you've emptied that top lake, you've got a lot of water at the bottom of the mountain. Well, what we then do is wait when there is excess energy in the grid, and we pump that water back to the top of the mountain and we hold it in the reservoir till we need that energy again. So there is the capacity in the grid to be able to take that spare energy and store it in a pumped hydro battery system and then use it when we need it. There just isn't enough of this. The electric mountain in Norway that has a capacity of about 9.1 gigawatt hours of storage, which means the whole system can run for about five hours and then the battery is empty. And we only have four of these pumped hydro batteries in the UK. We have two in Scotland and we have two in Wales. Now, there are more planned, but they do require very specific geology. You need to be able to have water held at height and a, a lake down at the bottom and a place to build a power station. So in a small country like the UK, we're not exactly going to build hundreds of these things. But we are looking to expand the grid by installing more of them over the next few years. Ultimately, for the energy companies, the least costly alternative is to give the power away. We don't need to invest in any extra infrastructure. All they have to do is send out an email and say, go for it. Use as much as you like. We won't charge you for it. So that's why companies like Octopus are giving away free electricity, not out of the goodness of their heart, because it's the cheapest, lowest cost alternative to them, rather than trying to switch off power stations or store it and build very expensive infrastructure to store that power. The easiest thing to do is just give it away to their customers. So how can you get free electricity? Well, if you're an Octopus customer, log into the web portal. Now I would say, do this on the web because this does not show up in my Octopus app, but you will see this. 
If in your area they are offering free electricity, you will see a banner that looks something like this. Free electricity, fill your boots with free power when the grid is at its greenest. Now, as I say, there are different schemes in different parts of the country. Um, not everyone is going to have this available to them and others will have it at different times. So we might get it one day in the east of England when there's a lot of wind in the North Sea and we might get it another day on the West Coast when there's a lot of wind in the Irish Sea. So again, totally region dependent. If you're not with Octopus, then I would certainly consider joining them. If your electricity company is not running schemes like this, they not don't have the smart tariffs that Octopus offer, then I would seriously consider switching. Now, if you'd like to switch, on the screen there is my uh, my referral code. If you use that referral code, you will get £50 off of your first energy bill, and they will also give me £50. And that £50 that, that I get, I'm going to donate it to a good cause. So if you'd like to do some good, you want to give some money to a good cause, then use the link on the screen. It's also in the description below if you'd like to sign up to Octopus. So with that, I hope you found this useful. Um, I've tried to lay out why it makes sense for Octopus to give away free electricity. I'm sure there are other reasons that they haven't publicized, but the main reason is, is they don't want to see the energy going to waste. And if they can't use it, then they have to shut down power stations. And that could be turning off wind turbines. It could be shutting down gas power stations. But all of that brings extra cost to their business. And ultimately, those extra costs get passed on to their customers. I hope you found this useful. If you have, a like and subscribe would be really appreciated. With that, I'm going to sign off. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care.